original recipe for Brunswick stew. They not set off your bait stick. Your log was your engine, and we snared our animal. Got them off the ground enough. Hey guys, welcome back to White Tail. Those crap down. Hearing that snapping sound, it's dry. We've had a lot of rain and a lot of wet snow. And we got some warm weather. This will be good. Kimlin. Get some coals ready, cook us up some venison. Find us some more fuel. Get us a good fire going. All right, what I brought out for the star of the show today was a couple of inner tenderloins on the buck that was harvested this year. We didn't bring any uh, cooking pans or anything like that, just some foil. But we're gonna wrap these in bacon, 
and add a few goodies to them. All right, brought us some nice bacon. And we're just going to wrap these things. You could put bacon on a rotten rhino's ass and I'd eat it. Don't have to get fancy. Just enough to cover it, get some flavor on it. Do the same thing to the other one. One for me, one for Sean, the cameraman today. I got a few simple ingredients here. That's the big thing about cooking outdoors. Keep it simple. Cutting up a nice sweet onion. We got some fresh basil, some mushrooms, and some jalapenos. Uh, and also some garlic. And we're gonna add that to our each little pocket. You know, Sean doesn't like the mushrooms, so I'm just gonna put the mushrooms in mine. But he does like the jalapenos and everything else. No need for salt or anything like that. We're just going to do it with all what we brought. Some nice basil. And we're going to start wrapping these up. Some mushrooms in there. Fresh basil. Some onions. Alright, we're putting all the nice vegetables in. Got some mushrooms in mine. Piece of garlic each. A flavoring. Jalapenos for Sean. And some onions. Make a nice little sock out of it. When the coals are ready, that'll go right in the fire. Alright, kind of spreading out these coals a little bit. I want to put them right in the fire. It shouldn't take too long. I'm sure I'll have to flip them. That's why I kind of double wrap them. And you keep adding to the fire on the outside if you want, if need be. These things are about ready to flip. They've been cooking for probably about a 20 minutes on the one side. Gonna be hot getting a little bit of flame engine. I want to pull them out of the flames anyways. Just keep them in the uh, coals. With everything wet here, it seems to be wanting to die down pretty quick on me, but that's all right. That way it won't get burnt. They are getting there. Can't wait to dig into them. I get a lot of comments asking how long things take to cook. You know, outside it's just when it's done is, is, is when it's done. Today we're in the 30s, so things are going to take a little longer. Just trying to keep them coals good and hot. And I'm going to check these pretty good soon. I just want to keep them out of the fire. I think these bad boys are done. You can hear them sizzling away. So we're going to check them. They're sizzling. Ooh, wee, those 
look good. There's a couple of good looking steaks right there. Time to cut into this bad boy. See what she looks like. Oh, yeah. That's a good looking steak right there. Crap. Thanks for joining me on another cook episode. I'll catch you on the next video. You can see, guys, that was just perfectly cooked. Nice and pink. You don't want to overcook a inner tenderloin. That's the best part of the deer. That's the filet mignon. What do you think of that?